a, uh, a great pleasure to see a, a lot of familiar faces here, a lot of people from uh, last year's series. Uh, this is again we're kicking off the, the Big City Big Ideas series, and we've got several more coming, uh, so stay tuned and we'll make the announcements on that. Um, the, uh, the first thing I really want to do is to thank a, a lot of sponsors for these events. Uh, and uh, in no order, they are the School of Public Policy and Governance, uh, the Institute of Municipal Finance and Governance, the Global Cities Institute, the Program and Planning of the Department of Geography, uh, Urban Strategies, uh, and the uh, Bassfield uh, Distinguished Visitorship. And uh, uh, John Bassfield, who uh, has been very generous in his uh, support of the planning program, I think will be, be here later on. Uh, so, Thank you to all those people, because uh, I think it's really a, a great thing that they're doing to keep this series going. Um, it's my great pleasure to introduce the moderator for the evening, uh, who is Renee Gomes. Uh, Renee Gomes is the Director of Development at Waterfront Toronto, uh, and in that role she's overseeing the development of the West Onlands and East Bayfront, which seem to be now growing up uh, like Topsy, which is a, a marvelous thing to do. Um, prior to that, uh, Renee was, uh, for a dozen years, worked at, a, a, at Canada's best uh, urban planning firm, um, <laughs> and uh, there she worked on a number of, of uh, projects uh, in the UK and in, in Canada. So uh, she trained uh, here uh, in the planning program. There are a lot of her, uh, her former teachers around, and uh, she's now herself teaching uh, in the planning program at the University of Toronto. So great pleasure, Renee Gomes. Thanks, Joe, and thank you to all of you for being here tonight. Um, I'm very pleased to introduce the two gentlemen who are going to speak with you today. Um, they are collectively responsible for leading development uh, of what has been referred to as the last frontier of Manhattan, which essentially involves extending the Midtown Central Business District by transforming 26 acres of rail storage lands into a new mixed-use precinct, thousands of new units, over six million square feet of office space, retail, cultural, and open spaces. So no small feat and not without uh, its parallels to a lot of the challenges we're facing here in Toronto. Um, first, I'd like to introduce Mr. Jay Cross, the president of Related Hudson Yards. He led the development of many large urban revitalization projects and sports venue projects um, in New Jersey, Miami, and also our own Air Canada Centre here in Toronto. And when he's not busy uh, building sports venues, he's actually playing sports, which have taken him to the Olympics three times as a member of the Canadian sailing team. Um, he is joined today by Blake Hutchison, who is the president and CEO of Oxford Properties. He leads Oxford's executive management team in the execution of their global business plan. Prior to that, he was the head of global real estate at the New York-based Mount Kellett Capital Management. And before that, he was the president of Canadian, Latin American, and Mexican operations for C.B. Ellis. So I don't think he has had much time to go to the Olympics. Um, without further ado, 